Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Firefly Tarot. And today's pick a card uh, is going to be what is your next step or what next step does spirit want you to take? So this is just guidance. Obviously, the next steps that you take are going to be based off of your own judgment, your own intuition. This reading may resonate and confirm what you already thought. And what I'm going to do is try to get two different steps. So one step that you may need to take internally for, let's say, anything with your healing, anything with your mind or your mind, body, soul, whatever. And then the next step I'm going to look at is something in your outer world. So it could be for many of you, something with career, something with creativity, family, uh, relationships, you know, whatever, um, any kind of area I'll look into. So we have our really beautiful towers here, crystal towers, and I will show you each one. But before I do, I have a uh, an important announcement. It's pretty exciting. So um, my friend Kaylee, she recently came to me and asked if we could kind of collaborate together so that um, I could offer on my site for the personal readings, uh, her Akashic Records readings. And her readings are amazing. Um, I really, you know, feel like a lot of you can benefit from such a reading. Uh, Akashic Records is basically, as she put it, anything that ever was, will be, or uh, or is. It's kind of like, I've, I've read that it's kind of like a uh, spiritual database or something like that. But we will have extra information on the site. We're working on it. Um, I will make an announcement when it's ready on the Calendly site, uh, and it'll explain everything there, and you can book it with her. All right, so... That being said, I will show you each of the towers here for our, that sounds bad, our tower, not tower cards, our crystal towers. I think that's what these are called anyway. Um, so I'll show you each one. Uh, the timestamps are below as always. So this is going to be group number one, the clear crystal quartz tower. This is group number two, the amethyst. This is group number three, the Sunstone. And this is group number four, the Aqua Aura Quartz. Okay, so just take as much time as you need. You can use the picture in the thumbnail if you need to get a... Well, actually, it's the same shot. Never mind, it's not an overhead shot. Um, and whenever you are ready, I will see you at your reading. Hey guys, this is the reading for those of you that chose group number one, which is the Clear Quartz Tower. Um, so let's shuffle, get into your energy a little bit. I'm always fidgety in group number one. Hold on. Okay. Spirit, please provide us clear guided messages for group number one, our Clear Quartz group. All right, so let's see. What's your next step or what next step does spirit want you to take or encouraging you to take? Remember, I said in the intro, uh, please just use your intuition and best judgment with life. Um, this is just guidance, okay? Okay, spirit, um, can we please get two different uh, messages for them? What is the step that you want them to take internally first and then we'll do externally? For group number one, clear courts, what is the first, uh, what is the next step that you want them to take within themselves. Okay, that was fast. Um, we have here the Knight of Wands. It, it was a bit kind of in the reverse. Let's see. Well, yes, this to me is a bit of an internal and external message because it's talking about some sort of movement, right? What's their next step for internal spirit, please? What, what do you advise them to take? Okay, I see. Yeah, definitely internal because we even have the the Hermit card. So Knight of Wands, we have the Ace of Cups, Hermit and the Strength card. Okay, so this is a really solid and even protective message that I'm seeing for you. Uh, Spirit is saying that it's almost as if they're saying that you can't quite move forward and take these powerful steps forward without this part of the journey, which is, uh, <clears throat> I think th there's a few things actually. So one, it's to kind of reorient yourself and find the internal balance and, and even for some of you courage to um, look ahead 
to do whatever you have to do. But it's really, of course, the courage that's needed to feel within yourself. So it could be things like, yes, of course, self-confidence. I feel like there's a lot of healing that may need to still happen within particularly the heart chakra. So if you have, um, I feel like it's not exactly insecurities, uh, but it is a little bit of this emotional wavering that I'm feeling. So kind of like an imbalance type of a thing. And then with the hermit, they are saying that there's there are specific things that you will still realize about yourself if you put in some more time with the hermit work. So introspection, reflection, for some of you, it could be something like therapy, talking things out, journal writing, or just meditation. Um, they are saying that you will discover some more things about yourself in the near future that will be really crucial in taking the steps outwardly, which I'll get after this. Um, they're saying that a lot of it does have to do with your personal power. So that would be the solar plexus um, where we're talking about self-worthiness, confidence, and for a lot of you, boundaries, if that resonates with you. And then the strength card is a little bit more on the nose. You know, they're just talking about building a bit of your internal strength. So mental, spiritual, emotional strength. And I think by strength, they also just kind of, again, mean balance and to feel more grounded. Um... Let me see if I put all of the because it was such a separated message. So let me see what I feel if I put them all together. I certainly do. I feel a lot from the Knight of Wands, um, especially because it tried to kind of reverse itself in a very obvious way to, to me. So I, again, I am feeling a little bit of like that topsy turvy energy. It feel it felt kind of yes, it did feel like hesitation and a little bit of doubt. But I also feel for some of you that it could have been that <clears throat> kind of like with the hermit. I feel that some of you need to maybe uh, just take a little bit more time to develop, grow, maybe, you know, mature your ideas, mature your whatever, like your spirit, uh, whatever kind of word, the development, development and growth. Like there needs to be a little bit more time for that. Um, this is for a, a smaller number of you, but I'm seeing in the Knight of Wands that you may be a bit more focused on the outer stuff for right now. Uh, for example, if you're kind of thinking about the prize, you know, like the eye on the prize, whether it's prosperity, some sort of external success, um, you know, something kind of in the material world. And that's perfectly natural. Um, but Spirit is asking you to just, again, reorient slightly just for now. Uh, as a start because if you do this and you look more at your internal sense of success and prosperity uh, this will benefit you like tenfold so it's going to be worth it okay so this is not I, I feel like probably you have already done a lot of the work because I'm not seeing that much of a step to take here this is just simply a little bit of uh, kind of smoothing things over <clears throat> You know, kind of streamlining things, cleansing a bit, I think, or, or clearing your energy would be really good. It's almost like you need to do a sweep. So if if that resonates with you, if you feel like you kind of need to sweep your energy a little bit, you can even kind of do that now. Just like, like you know, like so and that's kind of all energy work is, is just thought vis visualization. We have some other stuff. I'll teach about that soon, actually. Um, so you can kind of just fan yourself. If you have stuff like sage or feathers or like whatever you use, you can use that as well. But you may need to kind of just get a little bit of that energy off of you. Visualize that it is clearing off of you. Um, some of you may need to go outside, open the window, whatever. But I do feel like uh, that kind of clearing or cleansing, as well as a little bit of rest, you know, some some sort of rest and realignment is going to really be all that you need to do I, I feel like you're pretty solid um but let's just see if there's any other advice yeah like there's a you're you're meant to kind of tap in here to your psychic abilities your intuition a little bit more i feel like you are going to bloom the high priestess can also speak about letting things flower letting things unfold so i, I feel like that is the next step for you so realistically the next step to in your internal message would be actually just more patience you know but it's happening very soon so don't worry um any final message for them about their next step internally to take please group one clear courts what's their next step please 
Okay. There is something to resolve, though. Um, some of you, this could be matters of the heart. Some of you, this could be your own sense of self-worthiness and love, as I mentioned before. Uh, I do feel that you have grown a lot and made a lot of success with this area. But as you can see, it's... Um, it's, it can be definitely up and down with that Five of Cups over there. I feel you are going to be victorious if you're not already feeling like you have triumphed over something, um, such as building up that self-love or kind of balancing something out with your heart in relationships or like whoever's around you. Um, the, the potential is here. The progress is already here. Uh, but I think the final part of this message of your internal next step would be release. I think that's, if I could sum everything up, it would be that word, release. So if you want, if you resonate with that, um, <clears throat> you may want to write it on a piece of paper. And I don't know, like a lot of people do the thing where they burn the piece of paper. Some people do other things, but please be careful. <laughs> um, like, uh, just do whatever you need to do with the piece of paper or in any way that you can release energy. I don't know how a lot of you do it. You can let us know in the comments, but um, you can, again, do it with visualization and affirmation, just plain meditation or prayer. Ask your angels and guides to help you to release this. You can say, please remove this from me. And again, cleanse. Um that's it that's it for that so your next step is release i know that took a while it was very wordy but you know how i read it's just a story um so that is your next step uh now the outer world so this next step for your outer world it could be happening now or after the releasing i recommend you may want to release first and then work on the ex external world see there there's a little bit of that for some of you um if you happen to be dealing with a difficult relationship or um, any kind of connection, it doesn't have to only be romantic, but if there's pain there, th this is definitely going to be need to uh, be healed, okay, before you can really uh, invite and be receptive towards blessings, because it, it, this takes up space, as you can literally see, the you know, the heart is filled with swords, so... <clears throat> but again, I am going to be doing energy healing videos soon, like how to, not pick cards. Alrighty, so spirit, for group number one, our clear quartz group, in their outer world now, only their outer world, what next? what is their next step? What next step do you want them to take or do you encourage them to take, please? Group one, clear quartz, next step. You have the six of pentacles, so I need, I need a full picture here though because that could be a few things. What's their next step, please? They are talking, though, about balance and fairness. So for many of you, if you have been receiving less than what you're worth or something like that in any area of your life, that would be something to look at. Let's just see. What is their next step? <clears throat> wow. I feel like there's a lot going on for you. Okay. So we have the Queen of Cups. Here, before I forget, they said something about your talents with the Queen of Cups. I just wanted to mention because that's like random. Then you have the Knight of Swords. <clears throat> you have the Five of Wands. I almost said Five of Cups. And then the Moon. Okay, so here is your next step. Uh, first, I feel like... They definitely want you to move away from some energy right now. So this energy could be an environment, it could be a person, it could be a situation. Um, you are this Queen of Cups. You have a huge heart, lots of empathy, high-powered psychic ability to the point where you may absorb everything. They want you to get away from this energy for a second because there's conflict, there's fear, there's some kind of imbalance and unfairness, I think, in most of you guys' situation, okay? Um, if again obviously it's a general reading so it for some of you it might not be necessarily um outer conflict it it, it really could be any kind of th things that are interfering you know with your inner world here your inner waters here i'm feeling that you are remaining as balanced as you can and as powerful as you can but i keep seeing that something is disrupting your sense of peace and balance and it it actually 
looks like if you're sitting here on this throne it kind of looks like something is banging against the throne and shaking the waters and rippling the waters and you're like what was that kind of like you know a mini earthquake that but it's caused by something there is someone or something causing this okay um so the next step would be to consider okay well how can i do that how can i um how can i take some kind of rest away from this energy how can i balance out my situation so that it's not this way some of you may flat out just want to run away from something or escape something because the knight of swords is like i gotta get out of here you know um it is up to you entirely of course if you cannot do that if that's not something that resonates or as possible then it can still be energetic but the next step for you guys is to so the first message you got was release now the second one for this message is remove yourself that's what they said remove yourself from conflict from this type of uncertainty and fear or imbalance or unfairness it could be any or all of these things and by the way i this is not to say that you're escaping this thing and you're running away from it in a way that's avoiding the situation you may feel like you have to do that at first and that's up to you but the reason that spirit is saying remove yourself is because the second that you do and you're just back in your little safe bubble everything is going to become clear okay it will be <clears throat> very difficult almost impossible to get some type of clarity if this noise energetic noise is surrounding you so spirit is really saying it's time to step away um then once you do that you will know exactly where to go and we can get more guidance on that right now spirit what is their step after this it's kind of like a, a prep step if you will spirit where are they headed after this what's their next step that you want them to take or encourage them to take for the uh for group one please what's their next step i suspect it will have something to do a lot for many of you uh with something in career but i just want to see what else <clears throat> yeah that okay so we got exactly the same message again you have the eight of cups so there is a moving away physically this time from something in your life that is not aligned anymore that doesn't serve you it never did or maybe it doesn't anymore there's opportunity that's being created here that you are manifesting either one probably manifesting and then it's being created and then we have movement again knight of cups this is nice movement though knight of swords was like i need to get out of here but the knight of cups is let me just you know <laughs> kind of like take my time i uh, i'm doing this at my own pace i'm you know it's like a smoother calmer energy so there it is uh spirit want is encouraging you it, it's time to move along it's time to yes move forward but they specifically said move along as if there was something that was keeping you stuck before so yes um so yeah uh in in this part of the reading it was take a step away you know remove yourself and then after that you're you're going to take some steps forward into something new okay so what does that look like in your real life it's obviously like if you see this i mean it, something must have triggered that you know like if i said to you it's time to walk away from something you're like yeah i i see what you mean you know it so it's either something with um your it could be something with career it could be a particular relationship or friendship it could be a particular way of living some of you it might not have to do with anybody else maybe it's a habit um some of you you actually are moving you know you you know it's time you know it's uh you know the energy it everything is aligned and the only next thing is is you aligning as well uh okay so it's not that you're walking towards like nothingness and uncertainty in fact i see that actively actively in the next couple months after these steps i feel like you're going to be manifesting so many different opportunities more than one will even present themselves and you will have clarity within the next couple months i think the near future okay as to what this will be specifically for you but that in a nutshell is the next step that spirit wants you to take to move along okay so is there any hint as to where they're going to end up because i feel like that's definitely something we would want to know where they're going to end up or what is the 
direction that you're advising spirit. Thank you. <clears throat> thank you, thank you. So again, we do have um, movement, which is nice because it's such a triple confirmation uh, with this Eight of Wands. Okay. Some of you, that could even be something with physical movement too, like uh, meaning your physical body is not just relocating. And then you have here the King of Cups. Some of you, your creativity is involved here. Remember before I said talents, the place you're going, it's not exactly a destination, but uh it's an unfolding, exciting, transformative part of your journey. This Wheel of Fortune means that wherever you're heading next, uh, it does have to do with your destined path. And I think most of you already have thought about what that could be. There's a little maybe uh, fogginess, but it will clear up. So the place where you're heading is going to take some uh, brainstorming. It's going to take some meditating, you know, uh, but... It's going to involve your talents. It could involve your passions, your creativity, um, just your version of expanding yourself on your path. Now, if you're really, really confused, I'm going to make a note to put this below because I usually do anyway. Um, I'm going to put below uh, in the description the pick a card I've done for what is your path or what is your purpose. Uh, I'll put a couple of things that might be helpful it, just in case you're really, really unsure. So th this video with that video should be helpful. Um, so that is where that is what I'm seeing. And there's healing. I love that on the bottom. Spirit, final message, please, for group number one. What is their next step or any other advice, please? Thank you. Thank you. This is your favorite, <laughs> favorite word. Uh, oh, so we have the Knight of Wands. That's the card you actually started with, which is nice. You're coming full circle. Strength is back as well. So this is coming very, very soon. I feel like this is going to happen... Uh, for some of you, immediately, the next couple days, some of you might take a little longer. Um, it all depends on your journey, but but this is coming soon, that, that feeling of momentum and passion. This here, though, uh, yes, I know, I know, <laughs> it's like the, the patience card, but it also, if we want to look at it in a different way, is planting the seeds, okay? So you're, you are actively planting seeds. Remember that your thoughts are the seeds of the future. Your energy is the the seeds and then you have the five of swords the final message with the five of swords is let these conflicts be temporary this is a trivial conflict card it's not long lasting so just drop the sword so to speak and you know kind of just step away from that all right so i do hope that this was helpful group one that is your reading this was really interesting um because it's general i i don't really know what's going on but you can let me know below if this did resonate it's general, so the personal reading info is below, um, and there will also be more information coming soon on Akashic Records reading by my friend Kaylee. So um, thank you guys so much. Wishing you the best, sending you love, and I will see you next time. Okay, take care. Bye-bye. Hey everyone, this is the reading for those of you that chose group number two, which is the Amethyst. So as I mentioned in the intro, at least I think I did, um, I'll be looking at your next step internally and externally because it's, you know, definitely important, I feel. Spirit, please give us, uh, please provide us clear guided messages for group two Amethyst. Thank you, thank you. All right. Spirit, for group two, Amethyst, what is their next step uh, that you advise, that you encourage them to take next internally? Just something within themselves that they need to think about. Thank you, thank you. Group two, Amethyst, what's their next step? You are getting a very interesting message here. Let me see. Wow. Okay. Your first card is the Eight of Cups. So again, I, I did specify and say your next step internally. So that's why this is so interesting to me. Um, Eight of Cups and then the Three of Cups. And then you have the Queen of Swords. You have the Four and the Five of Pentacles. Okay. 
Oh boy. Um, you know, I do feel something from you guys that you're very multi-layered. That's what I'm feeling. And I do, I did notice, this is on the bottom, the Three of Swords. I do feel as though you guys, uh, I have felt your energy before in a very specific way. I can't remember the reading, but I think that you guys were the group that you have a particular strength about you and your sort of like your outer, ex you know, your exterior. But then there's something on the inside that really feels, you know, some sort of either heaviness or like, uh, like pain, basically. Uh, I don't know if that resonates, but that that's kind of what I'm feeling. That's kind of what I meant by layered. I think you're complex. I think that you're there's a lot more to you than meets the surface that maybe you would want to even talk about to most people. Um, but there is so much strength within you with this Queen of Swords. So with this Queen of Swords, I feel like this energy and this energy is, is just complete different, completely different. So the stronger message was, was actually over here with the four and five of pentacles. Um, I feel like you're stuck emotionally or spiritually or feel stuck. And you just simply need to free yourself. I know that's not a simple thing to do, but if you could just, you know, condense the message, it would be that. Please free yourself. I feel like this energy is not something that you have to keep or continue to put yourself through or do or, or whatever. Uh, it's very limiting and it's exhausting. I'm feeling exhausted very much so. Um, so for example, if some of you feel that you have to kind of pretend to feel a certain way, you don't have to do that. You know, if, if you feel like you have to pretend to be something you're not, you don't have to do that either. The only thing you have to be is yourself. And even if you're not sure who that is, you know, it, it could be time to just start trying things out. Um, but your energy, it like, it really needs a break. <sighs> it needs a break. So maybe just take a couple deep breaths as you're watching this and, you know, let it let it out slowly feel your your muscles relax feel your tension relax your energy relax and just like maybe you know like, you cradle yourself give yourself a hug or energy hug if you need it um this is really time for that to just just relax your energy to free your energy some people like to do that tapping i was kind of doing that by accident you know like the the tapping i forget what it's called maybe eft oh no or Reiki, self-Reiki is so relaxing um, when you do the touch healing. Anyway, uh, this is the next step for you is to free your truth, which is funny because the Queen of Swords is a card of truth. Um, and I think that the way that this message is coming together with these two first cards, the Cups cards, is Pentacles and these are, yep. <clears throat> okay, so here you can see with the Three of Cups, it's kind of like your joyful side. Uh, I saw the Three of Cups and I'm like thinking, oh, okay, that's usually having to do with other people, but we need this within you. This is your joy. You're toasting something, you're celebrating something, you're jovial, you're upbeat, you're elevated. And again, you don't have to force this or pretend or anything. This is the natural result of freeing yourself. Oh, I love that <laughs> message. Okay. Yeah. So you can still be all of the things that you want to be within yourself. I feel like I don't think there's an image problem, but I, I feel like there's an expectation you have for yourself that maybe was kind of uh, built by both you and maybe even other people over time. Um, but if this version of you is not making you happy, it it's that's really the clear answer to me is that it is time to change that expectation or to just get rid of that expectation and be here and now okay so the eight of cups though is interesting because usually I, i'm like oh you, you gotta walk away from something and release something but in your case it even could just be explore or i don't i don't actually i don't know i feel like you're dreaming of something in this card I feel like you're, there's a specific energy. I've never seen this energy in the Eight of Cups before. It's almost like you're waking up and the moon is there. It feels like you're waking up from something. 
if it, I don't know, this might come back, but it, I think that it could be just that it's a specific energy and feeling that will come from within you guys that you may not even recognize. You're like, what is this feeling? And what that is, is you waking up to your truth and your soul, okay? Uh, I am below going to link again the the old pick of cards I've done for similar things that could be helpful, like what does your soul want to tell you? What is your path? Stuff like that, if you're interested. Um, what else? So, <clears throat> so once you do this, once you kind of let loose your energy a little bit, you know, relax the energy, just, just be you, you know, be yourself. Um, and that sounds cliche, but <laughs> there's a reason it's cliche. It's because it's so true. It's so powerful. And again, release the expectation. So for you guys, your first message of what is your next step internally, you got a few different things, okay? Um, I don't know if you want to like jot it down, but yes, you did get a few different things. Let me just get one more uh, sort of summary message. Spirit, what is the final message for what's their next step internally? I do feel that not to be cliche again, but I do feel that many of you are hard on yourself again, that you expect so much and oh gosh, that's that no wonder it's exhausting. It's just a lot every single day. And like, I don't know if maybe that's just your standards, maybe for everything. I really don't know if it's just for you. But you know, it, it's kind of like, it's up, it's up here. It's very, it's like, uh, it's, it's stressful. It's very stressful. So it doesn't have to be that way is what their point is. Final message for this part of the reading. If some of you find it difficult to tap into joy, that's something I just realized. Okay. You might just be like, well, how do I do that? Right. So I guess that's a whole philosophy in itself, but, um, some things that could bring you joy in a natural way, you know, kind of just think of, uh, animals and children. They just have fun effortlessly. That's what they're here for. They just want to play. So how can you play? You know, like, how can you just play? Whether that's literally, you know, doing something with games or uh, sports or, like, laughter or whatever. It could be friends, hanging out with, like, um, people with that type of vibration. Or some of you, if you have kids or if you're, you know, whatever the case is, or animals, uh, just to get a dose of that energy to remind you what that feels like. And think back, like, think back when you had the best time of your life. Like, what were you doing? Um, or just, like, what energy did you embody and really tap into that? Um, so the final cards that you got, this is quite interesting because you got the other counterpart, you got, um, King of Swords this time, and then you also got the Ace of Cups. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, if this was any other type of reading, I would say that that clearly looks to me like some sort, uh, sort of a, you know, whatever, like love counterpart or soul counterpart, but in this case, since it's about yourself, this is you. This is you coming into that balance and, and love and some sort of new wholesome cleansing energy with yourself um i do feel that for many of you you're still trying to discover that part of yourself that truth and and that is okay i feel like some of us um sorry i feel like most of us we it it takes a long time to discover this truth um and even if it takes you decades you know years to figure this out, I feel like it's never too late because even tapping into your true self and being your true self, even just for one day, it feels like, you know, this incredible gift and it's worth it. So there's that. All right. So yeah, I know there was kind of a few different things there, but I do hope that piece resonated. So let's get the next step outer world. Um, the outer world next step may happen after or during the first one, but you'll know. Just again, use your intuition. Although balancing the inner self will certainly help you have the energy to do whatever you need to do. Spirit in their outer world, please. Amethyst, what is their next step in the outer world that you wish that you want them to take? Encourage them to take. Outer world, please. I'm only going to take three for now. 
Okay, that's what I thought. So we have here the magician, and it's funny because I got the message from King of Pentacles, but they confirmed it now. So the next one, King of Pentacles and the Empress. Okay. So it's funny because they didn't show the outer world. They essentially showed you three different times, three different ways. But the message is clear for all three of these, and it has to do with your power your personal power, your leadership. And I think to translate this to the question, what is your next step with the outer world? They want you to see yourself as a boss, right? Like, quote unquote, boss, uh, to see yourself as some type of leader. This, as you might imagine, can directly translate to your, for example, career or whatever related areas of life. Um, some of you could be stuff even with home, of course, or with your health, you know, stuff like that. I feel like a lot of you could be physical health they want you to step into this power and although that's a that's an internal step the external step would be what are going to what are going to be the um, consequences you know the results of stepping into that power and the results are going to be outrageously powerful okay so so for example some of you if it, and again this only Take what resonates for what you've been thinking of because this is your own intuition confirming. So some of you, let's let's use the example of work. If you've wanted to work for yourself, start your own business, get a promotion, talk to your whoever's, you know, about what do you need to 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 feel more in this um in this state of knowing your power and knowing your worth, maybe more uh more prosperity is something that is involved here more some of you it's like even more responsibility i don't think that's for everyone though um and something that's just more catered to you and your leadership there's huge energy here for leadership and for confidence too okay and this is not to say you're just thinking that you are this person you are a leader uh you have such a voice of reason that other people look to this and they 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 kind of really need that, you know, they're kind of seeking that. So, so yeah, um, we're going to get more cards, but this is the step. So just kind of think of how this, if it rings a bell to you, if it doesn't, it will soon. Okay. But again, if you step into your power, you will see the clarity of the next step. You might be, you know, kind of anxious to do that, but just kind of take your time. All right. So what is the next step? What might be the result? Where are they headed? Please. And thank you for group two. in their outer world please thank you thank you some of you and this is kind of funny but um some of you you're the the place that you're headed next you might actually have no idea what that is but only because it's going to be revealed to you soon and i can't really give spoiler alerts but it's going to be good let's get a little more um <clears throat> What next? What is their next step, or what next step do you advise them to take, Spirit? Thank you, thank you. Outer world only. Outer world only. You, uh, a lot of you may need to let go of something. To uh, release something, really strip it away. Let this go. It's heavy, whatever this is. Okay, so again. This could be something with, oh, by the way, I just realized I forgot the obvious category here. Uh, if it's not work or home, it could be relationships as well, okay? So this here is it, you're, you're stripping away and releasing or letting go of something that is quite heavy and even something that tends to really bring you down quite a bit. So again, it's either something with your job, something with home and family, something with maybe a romantic relationship or friendship, okay? I wouldn't list every single category if it wasn't a general reading, but um, everyone's going to have something different. We all know what makes us feel that way. When you release this, okay, oh boy, <laughs> you're going to feel so much better. You have the Four of Wands and the Knight of Cups. Uh, it's funny because Group 1 and 2 is, is kind of similar. It's almost like sister categories, I feel, or sister brother categories, you know, sibling. Gosh, what's wrong? Uh, the Four of Wands and the Knight of Cups um so you're gonna be finding a place where you belong uh there's so much more happiness here i don't know exactly what you're doing or where you are but there's so much more happiness and belonging so this is going to be the end result if you can release or 
let go of whatever was holding you down. Again, some of you may not have total clarity just yet, but keep, you know, but just hang in there. That clarity is coming. And again, this is happening because you stood in your power. So yes, standing in one's power is something I'd advise many, many people to do. But for you guys in particular, this is really a crucial step for the next parts of your journey. Um, I'm going to get more information. Uh, anything else? Any final messages for their next step in the outer world where it's going to take? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Did you see how that card popped out? I didn't even try. Look at this. That's really amazing. The Ten of Pentacles. So we have a bunch of things. We have success. We have prosperity. We have security. Uh, even like um, safety or, or like a feeling of family, depending on what's going on for you. I love this so much. Okay, so as you can see, it will have great results. And that's why Spirit is kind of just, they're extra nudging you, I would say. They're not doing it in a way that's forceful. But now I felt they were really kind of pushing you to do this, uh, you know, to take these these steps. Because what you're, not to say what you're missing, I don't want to make it sound like that. But, you know, like just the, the blessings that you're going to be receiving next is just so abundant you know um i think i do have a reading for that as well but it's going to be the same thing uh, a pick a card do we have any final advice any kind of final messages for group two in uh their next step spirit thank you thank you um well the high priestess did make an appearance there she is saying again the same thing yes use your intuition certain things you are going to just have to allow to float to you in time but i i, I think by now you'll know the difference i think you're very psychically powerful and i think you'll know when something is coming towards you and when you have to take action it's obviously two different things um what was the other thing that she was saying uh the high priestess was also saying ah it's a spirit guide uh, the High Priestess is one of your spirit guides. Definitely like a feminine energy spirit guide. The color blue could be significant. The letter B could also, or I saw red before, but now I'm seeing this is a different entity. Um, <clears throat> something with the moon could be significant too. Oh, the letter B is right there. I didn't even notice that. <laughs> um, J is as well, but I, I noticed B. Okay, so... Uh, look to this specific guide. Many of you, it's your guardian angel. Others of you, it could be a past fa uh, family member, loved one, that sort of a thing. Uh, just be open and they will come through and give you some messages, okay? So final message, please, for group two. Thank you. Okay, your final card is the Knight of Wands. That is so weird that you got this because, again, I, I said to you that it's like sibling messages, I just think it's funny because some of you tell me randomly that you do show the readings to your siblings and they pick that they pick the one they're like oh my god she actually said that so group one did get this as their first and last card um I don't think that you're meant to listen to the other one however now I'm uh, realizing you may be meant to show group one to a close person in your life consider that like so think about that if you want, you can share this video with them. I feel like there is certainly a message there. So uh, final message, this here, this is your power. This is your momentum, your fire energy. Uh, there, there's a lot of fire, I do feel, regardless of your sign. I feel a ton of firepower within you guys. You're like um, a torch or a cannon or something like that. Uh, but yes, you, you have so, you pack a punch. You pack a lot of power. Okay, so that is your final message. So group two... Wow, I did not expect this from an amethyst crystal because amethyst is very calm, like it's usually very calming and stuff. Uh, but this is really, it's uh, again like high powered, elevated energy. I hope I contained it enough because I have trouble with that. Um, but group two, that's what I see for you. I hope that this was helpful. Any info you need is below. And I said in the intro, we're getting into Akashic Records reading. Now, I, I'm not doing them. My friend Kaylee will be offering them. I'll put info out for that very soon. Okay, so thank you guys. Um, info for personal readings are always below. Uh, and uh, sending you blessings. I will see you next time. Okay, take care. Bye-bye. Hey, everyone. This is the reading for those of you that chose group number three, which is Sunstone. Okay, so as I may have said in the beginning, I always forget, uh, I'm going to be looking at what next step to take internally and externally, okay? Spirit, uh, please provide us clear guided messages for group number three, Sunstone. <clears throat> thank you, thank you. All right.
Spirit for group number three, please. Our sunstone, sunstone group. What is their next step internally? What next step do you advise them to take? Do you want them to take uh, for their internal world? Please and thank you. Group three. Next step, next step. Well, that's definitely internal. You've got the hermit. There's you can't get much more internal than that. Um, you guys may need, hold on. You guys may need to take some time to yourself, actually. Uh, so the number one way that we can do the hermit work, which is introspection, reflection, just deep meditative thinking and stuff like that. Uh, oftentimes, yes, we do need to be alone. It might be a requirement for many of you. Some of you can do this even if you're around people. But the next step for you guys that Spirit is advising you to take is to, yes, take that time in your solitude, if that resonates for you, if it's something you feel like you can benefit from. Um, some of you, if that did not resonate with you, and you may have even felt a little bit of anxiety, uh, try, to, um, try to open up that energy for a second, because if you do feel fear, in, in doing this, it could be even more reason that you must do this. Um, I know that many people don't exactly like to be alone, uh, especially if they have negative thoughts and, you know, whatever else. Uh, it can be very difficult. Um, if you would like, you know, you can sort of channel that energy into journal writing. Some people are afraid that they're going to just be super duper negative in the journal and stuff. But just, just try to like stream it out for now, you know. Try to stream that out for now. And, and what you're doing is you're simply observing your thoughts. Try not to have uh, judgment uh, within yourself or of yourself. Okay, if you don't want to do that, it, this is just the time to look inward. Again, to reflect and to meditate on things. Okay, now we have the Four of Pentacles as well. The Four of Pentacles makes me feel as though there is a bit of some kind of hesitation fear or blockage that is kind of keeping you quite stuck you can see this person does look kind of stuck you know the the two feet are stuck the there's a blockage there in the center there's like this weight on the top of their head so i do feel like many of you could feel this way where it might feel kind of safe it might feel like you are feeling secure because of that staying in that box or in that pose or whatnot which is funny that the next card is a Knight of Swords. So it kind of looks like you just completely are moving away from that energy. I'm not really sure why these cards came out together. Some of you, again, it it could be a little bit of a hint of running away or wanting to, right? Because um, the Knight of Swords is not really a peaceful card, you know? It's just like, it could even be an anxious or rushing kind of energy. I feel that you're going to get the most enlightenment. Did you see how I naturally kind of just did this? Uh, you're going to get the most enlightenment by tapping into your heart space, okay? Uh, I I wrote an affirmation once that um, love is my center. So the heart chakra, really, it is actually the center chakra. And I feel that within our heart space, this is where we're going to find pretty much all of our truth, all of our power, all of our compassion, obviously, right? <clears throat> So now with the four of wands at the bottom, I'm feeling what they're saying as your next step, if I can put all of this together, is to find a peaceful home within yourself, okay? I love that message. It is so important to feel safe within ourselves. Yes, it can be very hard work. That is obviously true. But spirit is just saying to think about that and to see ways that you can approach that eventual step okay so again we're looking at things like meditation journal writing some kind of chakra healing therapy could be helpful for many people um again like solitude uh if you can just take time to reflect it's like those walks in the park if you can you know do something really some some people will like you know they they go into the mountains you know they go into this retreat that would be amazing that would be great but it's not very practical for most people but it, it's awesome um if you can do that but anyways uh so what when you're able to find that peaceful happy home or, or just peaceful balanced home you know whatever you want to call it within yourself you're going 
to this is going to be big this is going to be a life-changing type of healing for you to feel safe within yourself if you want to right away start to feel that energy what you could probably do is just work on the root chakra so you could do even right now you could say affirmations you can say something like i am safe and secure within myself i'm safe within myself um you can add if you'd like I'm safe within my physical body, or I am safe within my spirit, I'm safe within my mind. If you feel like you need some extra help, of course, you can ask your guides and angels to assist, okay? What could also be helpful, if possible, um, even if it's something very small, you can create uh, some kind of a sacred space or safe space within your environment. So it's like, whether it's a room, it's a corner of the room, whether it's a table, like whatever. Um, yes, so, so that is your next step, group three really unexpected message I, I i had to kind of like re, i had to really carefully craft <laughs> my words um it was hard to extract that message but that is what i am seeing i feel there's more though i feel like they want to say more so what is uh, the additional message for their internal next step please group three sunstone i feel that you guys in particular will feel especially protected by crystals or some kind of other tools. Um, I do have a how to protect your energy video in my descriptions. I talk about that stuff there. Okay, you have the five of swords. What else? What else? Oh, you know what it could be with the Five of Swords? I thought at first this was you. But the Five of Swords may have, in over time, it may have turned into you taking other people's criticism with you into your own safe space, which it, at that point, it's not a safe space anymore. A safe space means that we are loved unconditionally and that there are no judgments. There's none of that, you know, none of that negative stuff. So be careful if... You do feel that you are unintentionally taking someone else's negativity or even of an environment or situation into your safe space of you, okay? So what you could do again, uh, you, I mean, if you do watch the video, I, I talk about visualizations, affirmations. Uh, you could, um, I've heard this before in meditation practices. They say something like you can politely decline the energy. So like you have a say in the energy that you carry, that you embody. It doesn't always feel like that, of course. It takes practice. So you could say something like, um, this person's energy or the energy of the situation, please leave, you are not welcome here. I am safe within my own space. I take my space back, okay? So I never really knew that growing up either. You know, it's not something I considered, but it became obvious over time that we do have a say. So you can try that and just be like, get out. <laughs> like, you know, um... So the final cards over here, same thing. Oh my goodness, look at this. See, the five of wands. It's it's some sort of conflict or even, it could even be chaotic for some of you or noisy in some way. It's like a lot of clutter, a lot of just so many things going on. Um, take rest, take space away from that. Uh, this eight of cups is talking about detaching your energy. So again, you can visualize that you're in the safe cocoon. You take a nice sword of truth or whatever you need. And then you go, you just cut all of those cords, detach and go, I am here in my safe space. Okay. Again, you can ask higher level beings to help you with this practice. Okay. So that is your next step. Um, there were a few things. Yes. A few different things there. Um, you can always just rewind and see what I said, but that is what I'm feeling for you is your next step or, well, several steps. Uh, yeah, solitude, safe space within the home. Okay, so I feel like that's all they wanted to say. So the next thing I'm going to get is your outer step. This may need to come first. In fact, it usually often does need to come first. Otherwise, the outer stuff is difficult, but just use your intuition. Okay, let's see. All right, so... Spirit, what is their next outer step, please, that you advise them to take? So I feel a little nervousness. Maybe you guys are 
thinking of or you do know what the next step is that you wish to take in whatever area of your life but i do feel that there's a nervousness there uh yeah it could be change it could be new for you which is definitely very scary or it can be spirit for group three group three what is their next step please what do you advise them to take outer world only please thank you okay All right, so um, so th the next steps for everybody, I'm going to list a couple categories because uh, the next steps is most likely going to align with your intuition. So the, the categories will be different though, okay? So again, like some of you could be work, some of you could be relationships, whatever it is. King of Pentacles is your first card. Then you have the, um, the Two of Pentacles. So you are making a decision here. That's what I'm seeing. A very important decision again it could make you a bit apprehensive to even think about this don't worry you don't <laughs> you don't have to make the decision right away i think that the first action step is actually within the mind because you're creating an energy by doing that you're creating the intention so it's already halfway done weirdly enough um then you have the page of wands i do feel i have to say that i feel many of you are going to have to take a chance in some way but we'll see. And then you have the moon. Again, there goes that uh, anxiety or just some sort of uncertainty. So the reality, group three, is that you, or just in a general sense, we probably won't know what's to come. I don't think we ever really can know for sure what's to come. So this uncertainty that I'm seeing here, part of the step that you're going to take is to kind of accept that things will be uncertain, but that but to be okay with it, you know, that um, we're not going to ever really know how things will turn out. But if you trust your intuition and you're doing it with like a, a pure intention, that's where trust comes in. So you are going to have to trust in your guides, trust in yourself and divine that you're heading in the right direction. I'll get more <clears throat> information, but I can see here that the next step is to uh, clarify well, to, to seek some sort of clarity with making this decision. Spirit, what else do we need to know? <clears throat> their next step, any kind of information will be helpful for their next step. Outer world. I see some of you talking things over with somebody. So again, that could be relevant to work or family or uh, connections. So part of what you have to do is um, consult with somebody and just talk things out, get it out there. Okay, so wherever they exist, that is one next step that you can also do. Just to, yeah, like talk it out, talking things over can also help you to decide as well. But I feel like it's something that will be necessary because you're communicating your intentions or, you know, whatever, your wishes. So... You have over here the Eight of Swords. Um, part of your next step is going to be freeing yourself from these, whatever these are, bindings and taking off the blindfold to something that you already knew about. So this Eight of Swords is not going to be a surprise for, I think, most of you. So for example, if you've been um, restricting yourself, stopping yourself from saying or doing something in any of these areas of your life, Okay, so it could be whatever, like it could be talking to your employer, it could be talking to a partner, it could be talking to a family member um, about taking a particular next step. This is what's going to be freed or what needs to be freed. Then you have the Ace of Cups and the Magician. You have pure intention in the next step that you're wanting to take in your path. And what, what the actual practical next step is to take that power with this pure intention and to basically, th this is going to sound a little self-explanatory, but they're saying to just take action. I mean, I know there, the question is, what is your next step? The next step is to take the next step. I know that sounds silly, but you already know what this is. So let me get a little further clarification because um, the other groups, they got a little bit, something more specific, but for you, I feel like you, it's just so obvious to you, but what is it? What are they doing? What is this looking like? Please. Thank you. What is the decision? Oh, I see what they're getting at. Yeah. 
the the next step is to face the fear okay so if i could put it all into one uh guidance message it would be that they just want you to face your fear and i can't believe how long it took me to to find that because this fear is i think deeply rooted you've got another fear card okay so that's like three so far um the good news though is that you're healing you are healing from this fear i do feel a strong connection that you're going to be feeling with your guides and angels soon you're going to be getting a lot of synchronicities a lot of signs you may have already gotten them or they will come soon yeah I'll put I'll put that in the description because that's another pick a card I've done. Uh, what signs will you receive? <clears throat> so yes, group three, that is the answer. The next step for you is to face that particular fear. You have to know what that fear is and was in order to take the step to to face the fear. Okay, so I could list a whole bunch of things again, but like everybody, it's different. You had a fear to you know do something with your health, with your um your career, maybe do something with like a business, maybe do something with your creativity, with uh, again any kind of relationship or connection in your life. Um, let us know. Let us know in the comments. What is that fear for you? And after you do a little bit of this alignment, spirit is here to support you and say, like, it is time and it is meant for you to face this fear because it's only obviously holding you back. So is there any other final advice, message, guidance for group number three, Sunstone? <clears throat> it's funny because it, like the energy that's coming from you. It's a very specific energy. So the other two groups, I, I could say it. Because the magician, you even got some of the same cards. But for you guys, I'm feeling a specific, loving, compassionate leader energy. Not leader to say that you always want to be in the front lines or in the spotlight. Not exactly like that. It's more of, well, I mean, you, you're the magician. You know, you have so many different um, talents and, and, and abilities. But there's also this strong humility coming from you uh with it's it's like it's almost as if to say that some of you don't even care about recognition sometimes you just want to make sure that you're okay everyone's okay that there's you know that there's love and light in the room like you know it's a very specific loving leader energy loving magician energy i'll just i'll just say that that's what i'm feeling from you guys any final message for group three please <clears throat> Yeah, you're very nurturing. You got the Empress card. So you have the Two of Wands, Empress, and the Nine of Cups. Okay, so the not to use a, a cliche thing, but the sky's the limit here. There is so much potential for your future. You are building it as you go along. You know, you are any of your visions, your visions for you guys in particular, your visions are quite powerful. Um, you don't have to be even a creative person. I'm talking about your ability to envision something and just, you know, do your magic, <laughs> like use your magic and to create that reality. Uh, so yeah, like you're very abundant, very nurturing and, um, and authentic, I feel. Some of you, I'm getting a little bit of a rare message. I never get this message from the Empress. I mean, I, I maybe sometimes I do, but they're talking about either something with birth, whether it's physical birth or creative birth. Uh, with that, I did see something of um, of birth there, which was quite interesting. Um, maybe that's a hidden message for some of you that there, there's something with a, a birth or creation involved in your in your future. And and the final thing is happiness. Okay, so this is happiness. This is fulfillment. Um, you know, just just if if this is your power, envision yourself happy, just happy. That's it. Just envision uh, and really embody the energy of joy, you know, and that will be yours. Okay. Whew, this reading was really something. Um, 
very unique, okay? So group three, that's what I have for you. Um, I'll link some relevant readings below just if you're interested. Uh, and uh, personal reading info is below. And like I said in the intro, I will be soon giving info for the Akashic Records readings with my friend Kaylee uh, that will be offered on the Calendly site, the same as my booking site, okay? So thank you guys, sending you love, and I will see you next time, okay? Take care, bye-bye. Hey everyone, this is the reading for those of you that chose group number four, which is the Aqua Aura Quartz. So as I said in the intro, I'm going to get <clears throat> the next step for you internally and then externally because I feel like it's important to get both. Uh, okay, Spirit, please provide us clear guided messages for group number four, Aqua Aura Quartz. Ooh. Thank you, thank you. All right. Spirit for group number four, please. Aqua Aura Quartz. They're telling me immediately, uh, if, if you were drawn to this stone and you want to uh, try to work with it, maybe. I can't remember exactly what was on the description when I bought it. Uh, this was actually a gift for my sister. Um, it has really powerful qualities. So you, you may want to check that out because I feel like for you guys and whatever it is that you're working on, you're doing, I feel like it will make a difference. Okay. I personally love crystals. Um, I don't always use them in the right way because I don't really program them sometimes, but I do love them and I do feel like they make a difference. Spirit, what is their next step internally, please? What is their next step internally? Group four, group four, aqua aura, quartz. <laughs> okay, that's kind of strange because like uh, I felt that it would help you. One of the things that this can help you with is psychic ability. At least I think it was a protecting against psychic attack. And then interestingly, not only does it match the color, but it matches the vibe. You got the high priestess exactly in the reverse. She totally just went like this. Okay, so that that interests me greatly because um, be, because the next step for you is internally. It's almost as if you have to completely reorient your ability to receive messages, your psychic ability, your intuition. Why is she upside down? <laughs> um, let's get more cards. But the, the first message is about your intuition, your psychic ability, and not only that, but your whole presence within yourself and your spiritual path. You know, this, this is your truth. This is who you are. Um, what is their next step <clears throat> internally, please? What is their next step, please, internally? Thank you, thank you. What do they need to know for their next step? I, the temperance also came out in the reverse. Um, I used to not read those, but if they clearly come out in the reverse, like nowadays I am paying attention to that because it's like obvious, you know? Um, all right, here's what I think, group four. I think that many of you may be struggling with really aligning with your spirituality, okay? So it's two things. It's yourself, right? Within your psychic abilities, your chakras, your intuition, uh, your higher self and it's also with your guides meaning your guides your angels ancestors divine the whole thing the whole sort of existence of spirituality okay if some of you either now or have struggled with belief that could be a huge part of it you know um obviously i know that not everyone believes in you know whatever uh, I mean, on this type of a channel, probably you, you do, but there could also be some doubts. So what they're looking for, okay, what, what we are looking for is to put these cards upright. So this would mean you're highly tuned in to your intuition. You are working with your guides and yourself to form that balance, that peace, um, a feeling of safety. I feel a sense that if this were upright, it feels as though, oh my God, this is so powerful. Hold on, give me a moment. You were being cradled, okay? This, you, you were being cradled by some mysterious motherly energy is specifically what I got. My God, that was powerful. Um, there, there is specific healing that you can do with this. If you feel like that resonates, if you feel like you didn't, you know, have that. 
when you needed it or if you need it now for whatever reason you can do that you can pray and meditate on this energy and you can open up the heart space open up yourself forget the doubts forget looking silly forget all of that stuff it doesn't matter if 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 it's like proven real or not who cares about that what matters is how you feel so open up your heart open up yourself to receive healing energy okay um and that might mean you're going to emotionally release that might mean you know you have to feel whatever vulnerable or whatever you know um and that's okay that's the next step for you that woof that really took me um i went on a little journey there okay so your next step is just to open yourself to this whole spiritual journey so again it's it's like it's yourself it's divine to allow yourself to feel comforted it's kind of like that journey to um essentially unconditional love to yes to love yourself but here they specifically said to love divine you know whatever you call divine everyone i feel like probably has a different name but uh what i was thinking was to love god um, and to feel God's love, okay? So whatever you want to distinguish it as, it's up to you. But that is the next step, okay? To feel that love. Oh, my God. Um, all right. I'll get a little bit more advice, but that that's what I'm seeing for you guys. And you only needed two cards. It was extremely powerful, okay? Just be patient with the actual journey itself because it it's a process, some people might feel effects right away from some types of healings and meditations. That's great. But really, you know, I, I feel like it's always going to be a little bit gradual and building on its previous progress and stuff. Okay. <clears throat> is there any other advice or information for them in what is their next step for internal, please? Yeah, some of you, I, I was drawn very much to the cross and whatever religion you happen to be or, you know, some people may not feel like they're 100% uh, religious. Other people might say, okay, well, I'm spiritual. Whatever the case is, it doesn't really matter. Like your, your beliefs, and you know, I have to say it's not even about beliefs. I feel like it's about truth and our openness to receive those truths and energies and, and um um connection you know that's what i think of when i think of religion and spirituality um all that other stuff you know like that's a separate story i'm not going to say it doesn't matter but it's a separate story but um what is important is that you feel loved and that you feel a part of something that you feel connected okay um if some of that other stuff really you're not ready to resonate with that or whatever that's okay too you can still feel connected to us in the collective and yourself but i do feel that ultimately you're going to feel connected to a higher power okay um and it's going to really be helpful with these wounds this is such a deep and profound beautiful message um i hope i didn't like upset anybody because sometimes people there was like well, there was this one time where i was talking about religion and I really regret doing that because some people got really upset. Um, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> so uh, I hope I didn't upset anybody. Any other advice or message for uh, group number four in this, please? Yeah, and you know what's even more beautiful? Not just like your, uh, not just the message about divine and the whole higher power. They're talking now about your guides. Look at this. They want to protect you. You are protected. You're in this safe little egg here. And I love that they just use the word egg because they're indicating that you're in the egg and you're going to like hatch into a completely new person. You're going to be reborn. This is super duper powerful. I, I love it. So yes, um, in all four corners, you're protected there. Um, I have to say this literally feels like a, I don't know how I feel this, but it feels like a baby in the amniotic sac or something or whatever. <laughs> I don't know anything about biology at this point. Um, it feels like the baby in the womb. I should have said that. But uh, so yes, you are soon group four. You may have mixed feelings about that, but you're soon going to be reborn. I, oh my God, I love this. That was a lot. I'm fanning myself. Let's get rid of some of the, whew, it's a lot of energy. So you have over here the five of cups okay this might be how you're feeling now or maybe you have been 
um, if you if you haven't been feeling this like and if you happen to feel it like soon just know that it, it's you know it, it it's gonna get better just know that okay um oh look at that that's nice so the four of swords okay so this is really important for this type of healing you do need to take the time to rest or to like um I don't want to say like shut out the world or anything like that, but you may need to just take a moment. If you need to take a slight break from something, if you need to kind of take a step back, uh, hang out in the shadows, even if you want to do something like that, it might feel weird. But in whatever way you need to take that break, uh, it's like you're hibernating. You know, I always think of a computer update because before the update happens it's running really slow and it's just like this thing isn't even working but then and then it completely just goes to sleep and then when it wakes up it's running twice as fast or whatever i really feel that that happens to us with our uh, our downloads our rebirths our transformations so this is what's coming but again that first next step for you is to open yourself feel that connection forget about um you know your own types of bias or fears or looking silly or or not thinking it's real none of again none of that matters um just trust just trust okay so that's the next step for you internally yes okay now next step in your outer world may happen uh you know before or after the internal one it's up to you and your intuition okay <clears throat> yeah it, it really could be either or at this point meaning the sequence, okay? So, Spirit, can you please provide for us what is their next step in their outer worlds for group number four, Aqua Aura Quartz? I am hearing talking. I'm hearing some kind of communication happen, yes. I would like to know more about that because I just hear you talking to somebody. Why is the screen turning red? Okay, that's weird. Uh, yes, this camera is not good, but <laughs> sometimes people, yeah, they get that weird camera shift. Okay, it's still doing it. Stop, stop. Um, Spirit, for group number four, please, what is their next step in their outer world? Outer world. Okay, so, oh my. Well, that should resonate. Uh, the Ten of Swords. This probably gave you an idea of what to do meaning that there is a painful cycle that will be coming to an end and soon. Yes, it's up to you about when, but this also could be a matter of divine timing and alignment as well, that something is coming to an end that was very painful for you, this painful cycle. Some of you, I mean, again, because it's general, I would like to give you a specific thing, but everyone has a different way this resonates. So think of whatever it was anything that has been the most painful and and heavy for you that is the next step it is going to be coming to an end i will get more cards though but but that's what i'm seeing first okay some of you might have really you know painful situations with the person in your life it could be something with work it could be something with health and habits spirit uh what is the next step for them to take in their outer world please thank you external please thank you oh my what else? What else? Let's get a little bit of a picture here. Full picture. The hanged man. You may have to surrender in some way. You may have to release and surrender something. What area is this in for a majority of people? Or what do they have to know about it so they can recognize it? <clears throat> My goodness. Wow. You got the seven of swords, okay? Um, you know, I saw this in a different group and, and the answer was that I was not allowed to reveal it and it was a little bit of a spoiler, but for you guys, it's different. Okay, here's what I'm saying. Sorry for the suspense. It's just like, I sometimes I have to gear it up because I feel the energy coming. <sighs> They're talking about an area of your life or a part of yourself or your life where you may have been lying to yourself in denial about something or not entirely seeing the truth, okay? You may have been in some kind of uh, illusion. So that's quite powerful because 
you may not even know what I'm talking about right now, but you may have a feeling. You, you may feel on some level deep within yourself that something just doesn't feel right. Something doesn't quite fit right. And, and maybe you did have some conscious thoughts about this in the past and you did try to change it, but then it went right back to where it was. So that is the area of life that is going to come to an end. Therefore, the truth is coming after that, meaning your, your truth within your heart, within your soul, within yourself, okay? Some of you, you may need to walk away from some kind of thing that was holding your heart hostage. Oh my God, that's a very strong way to put it. Um, oh my gosh, I can't believe they said that. Holding your heart hostage. So um, some of you are moving away from something and others of you are moving towards something. It could be both, of course. But again, what I said was that the truth is coming next and look at the passion. This is... This is going to be a part of your rebirth because you can see here the passion. It looks like you're literally taking the first breath of life. Oh my goodness. I, some of you have to be writers and poets or artists because that is just ridiculously creative <laughs> speech. Um, and I love that. I love that absolutely. So you're taking a fresh breath of a new life and I'm so happy. I'm so happy and relieved because I know you've been wanting that for ever. Oh, I'm having a moment with you guys. Um, so anything else? What do they need to know about their next step, please? I love how open you guys are to my, my palette of emotions because <laughs> I'm sorry. I just get so emotional. And then I think I've gotten yelled at a few times in my, uh, in my life for, for that, but whatever. Uh, I love how open you guys are to, to it. <clears throat> look at this i mean it it cannot get any clearer this is amazing this is the nine of pentacles where you are so abundant in this card you're standing tall in your power in your autonomy you're you're happy that that's really it you're happy you're prosperous you're talking to your guides you're connected um i just i'm so I don't even have a word for what I'm feeling. Um, I guess joy, but it's really so much more than that. And I, ugh. If during this reading or after at any point you need to release emotion, please do that. Take take a moment. Go in a room by yourself and just like, and let it all out. I did that recently um, and I was talking to God directly and many people noticed how depleted I was. I mean, I'm not exactly hiding it, but it kind of stinks because it's like I'm trying to, you know, give these messages to the collective. And obviously I was not okay and, and really imbalanced and depleted and stuff. So recently I did have a huge, whatever, I guess it was like a transformation, could have been a rebirth. I don't know what to call it, but I was talking to God. Like that's, that's all I was doing. But I mean, furthermore, I was um, aligning with my truth and my heart there was a lot of stuff involved that had built up to that point but that's what i did and if you guys want to do that as well you just have to really give yourself that space to do it there's no pressure there's no time frame just be open to it okay align with your truth um align with your heart align with your you know with with yourself oh so any final messages of advice where are they heading so again, I, I would like to say to you, oh yeah, here's like the specific thing to do, but that would be kind of outrageous for me to do, being that there's like, what, thousands of people with different lives. <laughs> like, so you you will know, you will know. Let us know in the comments if you want, if um, something specific resonates so that someone else can benefit from that message as well, if you want, okay? Um, final message, group four, group four. And I will link below some helpful past pick a cards that I've done about like your path, your purpose, your soul. Um, you've probably already seen them, but I will put them again below. Okay, so we have, there it is again. There it is again. <laughs> okay, so in here you had the four of swords in the reverse, meaning you're not going to sleep, you're waking up. See, there it is. You're waking up to something. And here's that same message. You're moving away from that thing that didn't fit, that thing that didn't serve, and you're moving towards what does. You're moving towards the alignment of your heart and your whole life. So yes, this is not a message to be taken lightly. This is, oh my God, it's, it, it like gave me a burst of energy. Um, so please take your time with 
receiving this message, absorbing it, and with anything else. Like um, if you want to put some things into place, it's going to take time, you know. Um, you'll know. J just be, you know, just really tap into yourself. Uh, I do recommend, though, that you address specifically your higher self. That is what one friend of mine said to do. And I kind of tend to do that anyway, but I kind of forget to address higher self directly. Um, your higher self has a special message for you and will give you exactly what you need in the near future, okay? Oh my goodness. So group four, I'm going to leave it there because this is just really, <laughs> it's like very intense. I hope that this resonated, okay? Um, info that you need is below for personal readings and uh, soon with my friend Kaylee, uh, she's going to be offering through my channel, um, uh, through my Calendly website, booking site, the Akashic Record readings. It's amazing stuff. I will put info for that uh, in the community section coming soon. Okay, so thank you guys so much. Sending you so much love and healing, and I will see you next time. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.